Hey, before we get rolling today, three requests. One, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell. That way you'll know when something new comes out. Two, like and comment, because if you like it, I want to know. And then three, I've got something for you. Go over to the website and download the free transposition guide. It'll help you learn to play. You'll enjoy it more. All right, let's go. Today we're going to talk through Hurt. Now, there's a number of things that are going to be compiled in this song that I want to show you, but the one we're going with is the version that Johnny Cash made popular. It was originally written by Trent Reznor, but we're going to go with the Johnny Cash version since that seems to become the default for most people. Now, it's in the key of A minor on the recording, but we're doing it in the key of B minor on the Seagull Merlin. You can use a strum stick, whatever you want. If you want to transpose, I've got a transposition guide. On the website, it's free. You can go download it. For today, we're going to talk in terms of B minor. So, first we're going to start with the verse. It uses B minor, D, and then we bar all the way across the first fret to get an E. On the recording, it's a major, it's an E major chord, but we can't, on the strumstick or the Seagull Merlin, have a major chord. We can only bar that way. So, the way I like to play this is finger picked. Now, it would be I wear my crown See? That's how I would approach the verse at least the initial verses when you're trying to keep the intensity lower I like to do just picking thumb index middle and then what I build to when I get to the chorus is what I refer to as the, the three finger roll. Now I've got a separate video on that that I would encourage you to go watch. I think it's a great way to spice up your, your playing a little bit so that you're not always strumming. You can do a little bit of finger picking as well. So the, the verses, right? And then it ends on a five chord, which in the key of D is A. I remember everything. And then it works its way into the chorus, which is B minor, uh, G, D, A. So that's six, four, one, five. And that's where I said it would be great if you could do the three finger roll. So, what have I become? My sweetest friend, everything. You get the idea? So that's the chorus. I know I'm walking through this quickly, but I want you to be able to play the whole song today. So the, the thing that caught me a little off guard about the chorus that I do want to note is the first half of it, two cycles through, is what I just showed you. B minor, uh, G, D, A. But the second two lines, the needle, t uh, sorry, you could have it all, my empire of dirt, he skips the D entirely. Goes B minor, G, A. So that's a little bit of a difference. I did make a video for this where I'm playing it. I would reference that if I were, if you have questions about it, that's how I played it on there. I wanted to make sure I get towards the end of the song though, because when the when the um, intensity is building at the end of the of the recording with Johnny Cash doing it, there's a there's a piano that's just going to town. It's magnificent, and I hope that you have heard it and know what I'm talking about. And if not, stop, go listen, come back. What I wanted to do with the second time through on the chorus is kind of mimic that. And what I what I wanted to do is keep the top string ringing. So I've managed all the chords in such a way that that top string will keep ringing through. Now again, we're doing B minor. We've got the uh, G, D, and A, but I'm going to be picking it, and I'm going to start strumming it harder and harder, and instead of playing it the same way that I did a second ago, I'm going to leave that top string open, so when I move to the uh, G chord, it's going to be with that top string open. When I move to the D chord, again, top string open, and then when I do the A chord, it's going to be top string open again. So. Some, some of you may be accustomed to playing your chords 
where you're moving fingers around like this. This is another place where my guitar teacher growing up encouraged me to be lazy. Do, do what you can to keep fingers in the exact same place. So I'm kind of anchoring my ring finger on the low string here so that you'll see I'm never moving that off the low string. So the work is actually a lot easier than it might sound. So it would be something like, what have I become? <clears throat> to build intensity more, this is where I would recommend going with the eighth note strumming, which is just down, up, down, up, all the way. <clears throat> you could have it all, my empire of dirt, I would let you down, I would make you hurt. That's pretty much how I would approach the entire song. Uh, I would start off with a lower intensity using a, using your fingers. If you can, switch over to a pick. I'm, I've uh, grown accustomed to just doing fingers, tucking the pick in there, and then pulling it out when I need it. But if you just wanted to go fingers, and then use your thumb at the end to do the, to do the strumming, that would be fine too. I'm sure I left room for questions in there. Leave a comment or email me at hello at stickdulcimer.com. Thanks so much.